Hey guys, Black Otaku here, and welcome to another manga review. And this time we'll be reviewing Magical Girl Apocalypse. Um, this manga, well, I just have to say, it is so dark, so twisted, and you just have to read this. Now, if you saw my manga haul pickup, you all know I talk about this manga a little, saying I will review it someday, and then now I'm reviewing it. So, what is Magical Girl Apocalypse? Now, when you look at this cover, you're thinking of, and eh, it's not interesting, it's just some goth version of a Magical Girl series, so what's the big deal of it? Let me tell you, when you read this manga, it is so just utterly, horribly wow. When you mix a Magical Girl series with a zombie apocalypse, you get this series right here, Magical Girl Apocalypse. So what's it all about? The story is is about this 16-year-old high school student named Kagomi Ki. He's just a regular average boy who just wants to have a normal life. All of a sudden, this mysterious-looking girl who dresses up as a magical girl came across the school and starting a slaughter fest. And his words are magical. She keeps saying magical, magical all over again. And all of a sudden, she kills all these random people for no other reason. It's like she doesn't have any emotions at all. And then all of a sudden, she just keeps killing people all of a sudden. It's just a slaughter fest of a manga, and that's what it is. Now, in this series, we don't know where these magical girls came from. We don't know where they came from, we don't know where they come from, what was their purpose of doing this, why they're doing this, why they're killing these people. It's just a gruesome, gruesome manga. Now, this manga does have a little bit of High School of the Dead who does, who watch the anime or read the manga. Um, now, the main character, Kagomi Ki, is just his average kid, has a normal life. Then we see this other girl named... Um, Tatsuki, I can't pronounce her name right, she's her childhood friend, and all of a sudden they're not friends no more, and then all of a sudden when this mayhem happens, they're all of a sudden together, so they're friends again, who keeps getting bullied a lot, and then all of a sudden we find out that she sort of has a crush on her. Then we get to see other characters like the scaredy cat, the brave guy, and the woman with the big tits, so for those who read this manga. Um... I have to say, this manga is really interesting. Now, when you think of Magical Girl series, you think of Sailor Moon, Tokyo Mew Mew, Magical, I mean, Madoka Magica, Pretty Cure, and all those classic Magical Girl series, but this is not your ordinary Magical Girl series. This series is pretty fucked up, and let me tell you why. It's gruesome. It's bloody. It's disturbing. This manga is terrific. Horror terrific. I love the concept. Now, the story is created by Kin let me just move away. Kintaro Sato. Now, let me just show you the artwork right here. If you guys can see it. So, it's a really interesting manga. If you love horror and magical girls, then this is absolutely the manga to read. Now, I wouldn't say this manga is amaze me or perfect or anything like that. Like I said, it does have High School of the Dead into it. But I do recommend reading this manga. Um, it's really interesting, and I highly recommend it. Like I said before, this manga is not your ordinary Magical Girl series. I'm not going to rate this manga because Volume 2, I'm about to get it soon, and I just pre-ordered Volume 2, so... I'm really enjoying Magical Girl Apocalypse. It's really interesting. The concept is really good, and I definitely would recommend this. You can pick this up at Right Sub and other places you can get your mangas at. But overall, Magical Girl Apocalypse. I go say, check it out.